did mm -hmm. their hair once again. Appreciate all that. Well, tonight there are growing calls for more oversight of facial recognition software used by police. So it follows an Atlanta News First investigation that uncovered the technology. It was leading to the wrongful arrest of black men. Investigative reporter Sierra Cummings joins us now live at five. So Sierra, what do we know now? Well, they believe lawmakers that the use of facial recognition could violate our civil rights. They're demanding the Department of Justice review funding and standards. It comes after our year long reporting into false recognition. We found in the cases of innocent fathers wrongfully accused and jailed, police agencies failed to have formal policies in place. The sticking point for researchers, facial recognition should not be used as the sole decision in a criminal case. Advocates warn if it's used, there should be extensive corroborating evidence because our investigation revealed these systems most often falsely match people of color. Georgia U.S. Senator Reverend Raphael Warnock and 17 other lawmakers signed this letter. Their questions, one of them, has the DOG, DOJ analyze federal grant recipients who use the tech. Question number two, what practices and policies does the DOJ have in place to ensure proper oversight? In that final question of all eight, what are the protections and limitations as the sole basis for identifying and arresting? This letter gives the DOJ until February 29th to the respond. Meanwhile, some lawmakers here in the Georgia legislature want to see state regulation too. You can watch our entire false recognition investigative series on AtlantaNewsFirst.com.